Hello everybody. When I asked a few weeks ago if there were objects that would typify your life, oranges, Christmas decorations, bouncing balls even, somebody suggested that for me the wall calendar, which is a collection of photographs from last year, would say more about my character than anybody. So here's a quick flick through. All of these are my own photos from last year and they're kind of in sequence so this first page is a, a medley of food on display in a buffet in the Villa del Conde five-star hotel in Gran Canaria where I went to by accident because it was the only place on the island that still had a room available two weeks before when I decided I could afford and wanted to go away Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful food. So in February, I went to Portobello Road Market um, with a friend who was looking to buy and did buy uh, silverware. But what was lovely was the open air food market, which I think is not just on Saturdays. Uh, really, really, really beautiful stuff. So that, that was very nice. Another uh, picture later in the year, this is the capital of uh, Gran Canaria, Las Palmas, which I've never been to before. I caught the public bus for an hour or so. It's got a University of the Canaries, it's got um, shopping malls and so on, and a beautiful, beautiful cathedral square, which is where this is. Loved it. So, also, still in the Canaries... I have never seen before, but I understand it's quite a big thing in Paris and German cities where couples put locks together as a memento of their love. And I was very taken by this and took a few pictures at sunset, as you can see. Really rather nice. Finally, all in the same hotel, uh, the breakfast area looking down from one of the terraces and one of these iconic vanishing pools by the water. I love all that sort of thing. I couldn't have a page without the Puscats, so say hello to Bombay and Sapphire. They're not gin drinkers, I'm glad to say, but their owner might be. They're quite kittenish there, and in fact now they're a year old and a bit, so they've grown up a bit. Love them to pieces. This is the only page that's got unrelated, other than in time, items. On the left, and slightly out of shot, that's rather better, um, is the bronze statue of John Betjeman in St Pancras Station, looking up at the roof of this Victorian edifice that he helped to uh, restore and... Um, prevent from demolition. Uh, my favourite motor car, of course, at the village show. And in the bottom right quadrant, um, I'm there somewhere on the London Pride March uh, with gendered intelligence. Very chuffed to be involved with that. Next, in August, we're in the Alhambra Palace in Granada in Spain, again, but mainland this time. On the left-hand side, the bigger picture, a courtyard that people just walked through, but I sat in one corner in one of these seats and read for an hour and a half on my Kindle and had an orange. Um, absolutely delightful. Loved the place. It had always been on my bucket list. Not disappointed. On to September. This also is Spain, but this time Marbella Old Town, which is very pretty. It's, it's a tourist trap, for sure, with little boutiques. Uh, but it's very, very nicely done. Lovely. October, these are, there are two pictures here from the Hogwarts reconstruction, the Harry Potter experience, uh, up in the studios in North West London, where some of the movies anyway were made. On the left, uh, the Potions Laboratory, wonderfully recreated and on the right uh, the moving uh, arms of the snakes that re that close the door to one of the secret chambers so it's a good exhibition well worth visiting i must say uh, this is november and this is the 
city of Valencia and its exhibition of arts and sciences. Very iconic, beautiful to photograph. And although uh, my three, compa- three of my companions, anyway, are actually in the picture, I like the way it looks like one of those creations by architects before they actually make something and they put these little figures in. Um, quite, quite like that. Wonderful place to visit. And finally, I'm in December, would you believe, on the island of Cape Verde, which is off the African coast, a thousand kilometres south of the Canaries, for a week in the sun, with 17 mile long beaches and nobody else. As you can see, that couple have no footsteps in front of them. So if that's what you wanted, that was absolutely perfect. And the last sunset of the year coming back on the aircraft into rainy and snowy and horrible Gatwick. That's my life last year, or at least some of it. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye for now.